Hey brothers, hey sisters, Adam here with the Parable of the Vineyard YouTube channel. Pray you're doing well, strong in faith and eyes to Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, who is our King of Kings, Lord of Lords, and is worthy of all of our praise, glory, respect, thanks. I mean, think about what, think about, literally, think about what happened the day he was crucified. Think about it. It's beyond, beyond my imagination and um, also the his apostles um, there's an interesting video that uh, my brother uh, Kent Hickman um, thanks brother for sharing this but um, kind of just went quickly went over all the apostles and, and some of the prophets that some of the gruesome deaths that they suffered and um, you know we've we've got I mean we've got it so easy compared to them you know I, I my prayers go out to those in Texas that have been affected especially i mean think of there's really no coincidences and things but how the, the storm hit head on to corpus christi texas um corpus christi is the body of christ i mean it's just, just as uh, my brother daniel matson said uh god is screaming at us right now to pay attention and to be ready so my prayers go out to those in texas and you know, e even then, you know, loss of property, loss of uh, power, it's just, it's nothing compared to what some of the early church suffered. But uh, I do pray for uh, for anyone. I, I, I haven't looked this morning to see what kind of damage was done. I don't even know if there's loss of life. I pray that there wasn't. But uh, send some prayers, brothers and sisters, to our brothers and sisters uh, there in Texas. And I pray for their safety and, and pray for that hedge of protection around them. But uh, I just wanted to quickly address the uh, the video I just put out, the Psalm 46, 47, 48, and 2. Um, I probably spoke uh, a little too quickly. I was just voicing what was on my spirit um, to talk about when we are gathered around the Holy Mountain. But uh, I did speak out of turn, and I do I do believe after being reproved by a few brothers and sisters, um, uh, I will correct myself in that I do believe we are raptured up into the throne and then brought back down and I do think we'll be gathered at the mountain at that time what I the reason I brought it up is because there there is going to be a narrative as to how Satan is going to be able to gather the armies together against us and if you think that the narrative is going to be hey there's Jesus Christ and all his followers let's go get him come on be smarter than that brother and sister you know that's not how it's going to go down what I was saying is that we're not going to come back as some gruesome, you know, looking alien with mandibles and, and whatever. I'm just saying that we will be presented as the outside threat that needs to be dealt with um, is where I was going with that. And um, what, what I see in the narrative with Hollywood is this whole uh, brainwashing effect is that, that there's, you know, distant planets where aliens live and they're going to come get us one day. They're they're not spending billions of dollars doing this for no reason. It's not just for your entertainment, but there is a an agenda. There is an alien agenda, and it could just be that uh, you know, uh, I don't believe that there's aliens. I believe that that the only possible aliens there could be would be fallen angels. Um, I don't know what the narrative is. I was just throwing up some some ideas, but uh, I do understand that. I need to watch what comes out of my mouth. So I've got to be a little more guarded and prepared with Scripture to back up my points. And so I especially thank you, uh, my Brother Kenny Cantu. Thank you for uh, sharing Scripture with me. And a few other of, of you guys um, had shared Scripture with me to reprove. Um, I appreciate that. Um, I, don't, I don't know the, the verse off the top of my head, but it says that a wise man will, will love reproof and correction. Um, and, and I do, uh, I, I'm faulty. I'm just a watchman. I'm not some prophet. I don't get direct revelations that says, Adam, write this down and give it to the people. I don't get that. I get feelings. I, I get, um, ideas. Um, I don't know how to explain it, you know, but I'm faulty. I'm, I'm just a watchman that loves Jesus Christ and his return and, and want to fellowship with you guys and, and whatnot. So forgive me. Uh, um, I probably was a little hasty in coming to that conclusion that we're raptured up into the air and then go straight to the mountain. There's plenty of scripture that says that the, the marriage supper uh, will be in heaven and whatnot. So forgive me. Please be, be long-suffering with me and forgiving just like our Heavenly Father was long-suffering and forgiving with us. And that's how we're supposed to act. There, There's only just a few of you guys that um, were that were like, you're crazy. You're an idiot. I'm unsubscribing. I mean, come on. Be a little, be a little more long-suffering with each other. We're Christians. Let's. Um, I've seen 
unbelievers deal with each other a lot with a lot more uh, forgiveness and long suffering that we than we do with each other, and we're supposed to be brothers and sisters. So, um, any case, I uh, I pray you guys are doing well, and um, we're getting so close. We're getting so close, and um, I don't know. I just uh, I pray daily for your strength and to for your faith to be strengthened daily, and. Um, I just love you guys. I do. I love the I love the fellowship. I love the correction when it's needed. And I don't know. I just I love growing with you guys daily. And I pray you have a, a great weekend and blessed and strong in faith. I've got a video coming up soon um, where I will finally put my stance on the dragon. Uh, Gary from unsealed.org had an excellent, uh, excellent article going over everything, and I believe that finally concretes for me personally what what the dragon is from Revelation 12. Um, you know, some people say Nibiru, some people say it's the um, the Google Sky blackout. I've never really been sold on those ideas, um, but I think you'll be pleased with uh, what Gary came up with, and I'm basically just going to do a video covering uh, all those topics and what he had to say. Because I finally, I feel like that finally put to rest what was in my mind uh, of what this could possibly be. And, and my spirit completely agrees with what Gary from Unsealed had written about. So I'm really anxious to share that with you guys. I'm probably going to get up early tomorrow and start working on that. And I'm not sure exactly when I'll be finished. But be on the lookout for that, brother and sister. And um, just, uh, just stay strong in faith and in prayer and, um, and in love. I love you. Maranatha.